Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I would now like to invite Ambassador Mrs. Monica Kapil Mota to give her welcome speech. A big round of applause for the Ambassador. Good afternoon. Um, Her Excellency Madam Anna Ekstrom, Minister for Upper Secondary School and Adult Education and Training. A very warm welcome to you. Can we put our hands together for the minister? <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this, is, this was a very, very inspiring session, the one which I just saw. I caught just a few minutes of that, but I feel so inspired myself. As a woman, not just as a woman, but as a human being, uh, this was really quite amazing to see the achievement of the Air India crew and Captain Paseen and her co-pilot, they are role models for us in India. And yes, we do battle p- social prejudice. Yes, we do battle gender inequalities. We do battle a lot of uh, um, difficulties, challenges, as we go along in our journey towards skill development. That was the subject that I saw. And I thought I must mention that every day in India, glass ceilings are being breached by women in their respective spheres of work. And it is an uphill task, but it is being done. And there is a quiet revolution which has been, which has been in the making in the country for the last few years. And we are seeing a culmination of that today in India, where we find uh, women in all kinds of spaces, which is where they should be. And it's, it's, I think it's, it's a tremendous sea change in what is the scenario today in terms of um, uh, uh, women empowerment, women education, women employment. So there is, there's a lot that's happening in India. I'm sure that all of you heard a lot of that. I thought that I would first and foremost, of course, say that I'm uh, truly delighted and privileged to welcome all of you to this Business Day uh, India at 100 event. Um, this is, of course, a curtain raiser to the upcoming mega business event that we plan in October. Precisely on the 12th and 13th of October, we have the Make in India Sweden 2017. And that for us is going to be a mega event where we will welcome our commerce and industry minister and uh, uh, extremely distinguished CEOs and others from India, uh, people from the corporate world, from media, Uh, This session, this entire event will happen at the Grand Hotel in Stockholm. I hope all of you will turn up in good large numbers because there's a lot of wonderful work to be done between India and Sweden in the field of business and industry. I thank all of you for your valuable presence here, particularly Minister Ekstrom. And I want to specially um, say thank you also to India Unlimited, for all the wonderful work they're doing in terms of building bridges between India and Sweden, not just in business, but also in culture, in people-to-people interaction, in media contact, in the scientific sphere. We are trying to do our best in every possible sphere to bring people of the two countries together, to bring great minds from both countries together, to sit together and try and see how we can work and bring some of the fantastic technologies that Sweden has, how to bring those technologies to India and to to contribute to the development process that is now underway in our country. So uh, there has been uh, a steady progress we've seen in the business and industry contact between the two countries. Uh, We must remember that a lot of this was triggered by the visit of our president in 2015, and then the visit of the Swedish Prime Minister to India in 2016 for the Make in India event in Mumbai, where Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Stefan Löfven actually signed a joint statement. It's a vision statement. I would invite all of you to please look at that vision statement. It is, um, it, it lays the ground and shows us the way forward in our relationship as to how 
the two countries and the people of the two countries can work together for all round bilateral cooperation and uh, to try and find mutually beneficial areas where our energies can converge and we can do something special together. So there is a, a definitely a renewed vigor and energy in our business and industry relationship today. I know our trade figures are not looking all that great. They do need an improvement, but Swedish business and industry are very happy with their investments in India. They're doing extremely well. And um, in India itself, if I, if I may say, it, um, uh, we, well, we have said that we want to set a, a target, an ambitious trade target of about 5 billion US dollars between the two countries in the coming two to three years. We hope we can meet the target, but we need to work very hard for that. And uh, um, of course, there are new Swedish uh, giants that have stepped into India like IKEA, H&M, who are doing very well. And we greatly look forward to strengthening this, uh, this uh, relationship further. Um, the government of India, and particularly Prime Minister Modi, they have taken India to a new trajectory. You must have seen a lot of media stories about what is happening in India today. It's a different mood. It's a different energy that, uh, that one senses. It's palpable. If you go to India, it's something which is so palpable. It's in the air. This is, you know, the whole vision for the overall development process in India. Um, it's, it's undergone a revolutionary change. And um, to our Swedish friends, what I want to say is that uh, the government has, in order to make an investor-friendly environment, uh, the government has vastly streamlined a lot of things back home. Uh, all the regulations, tax systems, including what has been recently introduced in India, which has been called a path-breaking step, the goods and services tax, the GST. And of course, a lot of other improvements are being brought about uh, in terms of ease of doing business in India. Uh, I needn't remind all of you that India today is the fastest growing economy globally, with a GDP growth rate of over 7% last year. And of course, a per capita that has grown tenfold. So, um, it's, it's, it's got to do with the fact that we have a certain strategic geographical location. We have availability of cost-effective young and experienced workforce, and this is where Skill India comes in. Um, the fact that we have this huge task of training a very talented young manpower, equipping them with the tools to take India forward in the right direction. So skilling becomes extremely important. Education becomes extremely important for Gen Next. And of course, a domestic market, which is huge and um, obviously a highly favored choice for manufacturing in India uh, for both domestic purposes, because we are a large market and we have a huge consumption internally, but also for export to global markets abroad. So as many of you know, the Make in India initiative, which was launched by Prime Minister Modi in 2014, that's been applauded the world over as a, as a hugely successful campaign. And this has rendered a lot of positivity to the investment climate in India. Uh, and we've seen, we've seen a, a, a huge growth in the FDI, in the foreign direct investment in India, it was never seen before. We have the FDI actually increased to US dollars 160 billion between April 2014 and September 2016. And this was a 32% cumulative increase in the FDI flow, inflow into India. And this is actually a quite a remarkable achievement, what is happening back home. So it's a, it's a tremendous increase in FDI inflows. And uh, this is despite the fact that there is a reduction in global FDI inflows. Uh, so India, in a sense, then stands out as a bright spot uh, in the world economic landscape. And a number of global reports and assessments uh, over the last uh, couple of years have shown that India 
has considerably improved its policies, practices, and economic profile, every sphere. And uh, of course, today we are the sixth largest manufacturing country in the world, up from nine, just a few years ago. So India's focus initiatives in sectors where Sweden, with its state-of-the-art clean technologies, has already been contributing, or can also um, effectively, uh, effecti effectively contribute in. So we have these um, initiatives and sectors. So Make in India, I mentioned, there's water management and recycling, there's renewable energy and waste management, waste to energy, telecommunications, uh, healthcare, medical devices, pharmaceuticals, automotives, of course, a very strong relationship there, capital goods, smart cities, and sustainable urban development. Sustainable solutions for transportation, for garbage, for, uh, for uh, as I mentioned, water, uh, uh, wastewater management, uh, uh, mining, water management, uh, recycling, food processing, retail, defense, of course, another very strong relationship and a lot of promise for the future, and security-related areas. Um, the Air India crew is here, and I saw Mr. Pankaj Srivastav, director of Air India, with us here in this uh, business event, the historic launch of the Air India direct flight to Sweden. It's, it's truly historic, and it is another feather in our cap, in our relationship between India and Sweden, not only when, uh, uh, when we know that our business and industry is, um, is now waiting for that huge quantum leap, uh, also because tourism will be strengthened, the Indian diaspora here will have an opportunity to travel to India in six hours, 55 minutes. That is a huge achievement. <laughs> Instead of all the circuitous routes that people have to take to get, get to India. And of course, it leads to, it has a ripple effect, people-to-people -people contact. And the fact that there's, be, there's going to be a lot of leisure travel, there will be um, um, far more cooperation in the health sector, research sector, culture, all this all this definitely has a ripple effect once the Air India takes off in, in Sweden. And may I mention that we are also celebrating 70 years of India's independence, and India is the theme country at the ongoing Stockholm Cultural Festival. So it, it, that is a truly historic occasion for us. I saw 10,000 people last night dancing to Bollywood music at the opera stage which was set up for the Stockholm Cultural Festival. And just before that, we had the great maestro, Stad Zakir Hussain, who performed with his percussionists. And people were spellbound. It was magical. And you could see how Stockholmers were actually deeply appreciating India and Indian culture. And it was such a beautiful sight that, I mean, that is something that I will live with all my life. The very sight of looking at all those people swaying to Indian music and dance. And um, of course, we, uh, we have uh, artists from India, we have environmentalists here, we have media, we have uh, people from different spheres, corporate world, of course. And I mentioned that one of the major events that's coming up ahead for us is the Make in India Sweden 2017, where I invite your participation. And um, I'll conclude now. There is so much more to come, and we have to request Madam Minister Ekstrom to come and join us here on the stage. I think this is really, the today's business event is a very important component of our joint effort and our determination, our will, our desire to strengthen India-Sweden trade and economic ties and to take that step forward, the next step forward in this process. I want to thank Madam Ekstrom for her participation and for all of you wonderful distinguished guests for being here this afternoon. Let's take this momentum forward, take India-Sweden relationship forward. Thank you very much.